It's hot and people are looking for ways to stay cool. Many got to be headed out to the pool this Memorial Day weekend. But as News 19's Devin Johnson explains, there's a lifeguard shortage at a number of pools. A typical summer, we would have um, 60 to 80 guards hired, and that would allow us to open both of the water parks at the same time. The YMCA of Columbia staffs lifeguards at four locations. According to the Senior Vice President of Operations, Kathy Muffler, three of the locations, Orangeburg, Sancy, and Irmo, are having issues with staffing lifeguards. We're at about 20 guards um, with another 20 to 30 scheduled to get certified over the next few weeks. Unfortunately, the shortage seen in the Midlands is being felt on a national level. The American Lifeguard Association says they're at 40% of applicants compared to where they would usually be at this time of year. Now, despite the shortage, the association says there won't be any shortcuts when it comes to the training process. We take almost a year in advance sometimes to start training and getting ready for the summer that's coming. Um, we weren't able to do that. So uh, it's kind of a scramble right now to try and get everyone back out into the groups that's now allowed. So we're just now starting to train the, the guys that we guys and gals that we do have coming forward. Wyatt Werner is the spokesperson for the American Lifeguard Association. Werner says agencies typically hire high school students. However, the shortage is happening because some schools are running later in the year. Also, the seasonal foreign exchange program has been halted. He believes the shortage could lead to dangerous situations. You know, you got to just have those people be a little bit more vigilant than than ever before because of those factors that um, you know, they're going to be climbing fences into areas where uh, it's closed. They're going to be going into, you know, wild with the ocean when it's roaring and going crazy. Even as the YMCA struggles with qualified candidates, they say they're trying new options to bring in applicants. We've reduced the cost of lifeguard certifications. We're also offering um, reimbursement for any cost of a certification. In Orangeburg, Devin Johnson, News 19, WLTX. Well, those who have had a Red Cross lifeguard certification that expired during the pandemic can renew their certification by taking a provisional lifeguarding review class by the end of June.